Hello, so I'm giving an update on our daughter who has short bowel syndrome. Uh, she is seven months post-op from when she had the step procedure done. And she's still making good progress on being able to tolerate more feedings. She's up to 78 milliliters per hour uh, over a total of 16 hours. She does four feeds uh, at, at four hours at a time with a two hour break in between each feed. Her weight is up to, uh, I believe it's 31. 32.8 pounds. She's close to 32 pounds. And um, <clears throat> overall, just doing well. Uh, we've also recently started a new medication for her motility. It's called Percalipride. And Percalipride is not an FDA approved medicine. Um, so the disadvantage of using this medicine is that <clears throat> our insurance doesn't pay for it and we have to pay for it out of pocket. It costs, um, what is it, $150, I believe? No, $200, not $195. $200 for about a month's supply of pills. No, actually it's two months. Two months supply two of months pills. Supply of pills. Yeah. Uh, but the benefit is she seems to be um, absorbing better. It's helping her to continue to increase on her feeds and uh, her stools are a little bit better formed. Uh, they're still very watery but they're a little thicker than before uh, and uh, her frequency of stooling has also decreased a little be because I believe um, she's absorbing better and uh, because her stools are more formed. And also her bottom is a lot, looking a lot better to the, it was, well, not right now she has a rash, but it was looking a lot better than before. Before it was like a constant uh, rash. Now it's, you know, it can stay, um, it, it can look better. So, um, so yeah, we saw many, uh, <coughs> advantages with this new medication and it's only once a day you give it once a day so it's, which is great because we were doing erythromycin and augmentin and i think erythromycin it was three times a day and the augmentin is twice a day so you know this uh, we, we were able to take out erythromycin uh, and um, and just we're just on procalopride and um, augmented. So that has decreased our medications. Um, and the fact that the procalopride is not an antibiotic is also a, a plus. Um, and um, yeah. So we, we, we really like the medication so far. No, no side effects, no, nothing bad that we have noticed. Um, so uh, the only thing, that, the only downside is that we have to pay out of pocket and it takes like almost a month to get here because we order it through a, a pharmacy in, in Canada. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, so far she's doing very good. Um, um, we have had our downs, like, uh, you know, she will get like uh, the flu or or, or something like that, but um, nothing, nothing major. No obstructions. No, um, you know, not nothing other than than just getting viruses or things like that. So, and we're still doing our bacteria overgrowth. Um, we take Flagyl and Bactra, and. Uh, yeah, she so far everything's looking good. Um, the doctor uh, is it, it, she's very happily uh, pleased with her progress, and if um, things keep looking 
good if she keeps gaining weight. Uh, she has decreased a lot of the calories in the TPN. So right now, the TPN that she gets is basically water with some vitamins. Um, but almost nothing of calories. I think she said it was 10% of dextrose, right? Um, so um, she's really trying her. Uh, last time that we were there, she had already decreased a lot of the calories and she still gained weight. So our hope is that this time around she will do the same. And if she does this, does the same, uh, we will be going into just uh, hydration um, and uh, and be on our way to to get off TPN hopefully. <laughs> and uh, and we've been working also with. Um, oral skills uh, we have a speech therapist that comes once a week and that has also been a big plus um, and we always try to make time to have dinner together at least one meal during the day because we're very, very busy we have different schedules but uh, dinner time se seems to be working fine we sit her with us and, and that has also helped um, her to to um, be more in the mood of eating um, and uh, before she wasn't even putting things in her mouth now she she actually will grab the spoon put it in her around her lips sometimes even open her mouth and swallow it um, so I mean we have seen definitely big improvement and um, also, we're practicing with her brushing her teeth uh, every night. Every so every night we do dinner with her. We brush her teeth. Um, so all those little things have uh, uh, helped for her to be more willing to put things in her mouth. Be more okay, not not be so defensive about it. Um, and yeah, that that's it. Uh, our hope is for her to eat by mouth someday um, but um, for now I think she's doing pretty good and uh, yeah so far everything is, is looking good um, we'll see what the next year brings um, so right now is what December so we're <laughs> we're finishing the year and um, and also our doctor didn't want to do any drastic changes just because we were going through the, you know, the holidays were coming and she didn't want to risk any, anything going bad and, you know, getting admitted to the hospital. So we're taking it very slow, even though she's gaining weight, even though she's um, doing good, you know, we're, we're taking it slow. So, but our hope is that next year we can move forward with a plan a more uh, drastic plan of uh, getting off TPN. So that's about it. Uh, is it right? Not much other than that. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions or anything that you would like to share with us, we would love to hear. Um, and um, we'll be updating you uh, next time. Next two months, I guess. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.